right. Um, right now we're standing at the Oude Gracht, or the Old Canal, as it is called. And the nice thing about the Oude Gracht is that if the Domplein is the heart of Utrecht, this is the main blood vessel, because this connects the entire city of Utrecht to the most important parts. The name Oude Gracht or Old Canal is sort of misleading because actually this isn't a canal or it wasn't when the people of Utrecht first came to live here. This is a sidearm of the river Rhine. You've probably heard of the Rhine, it's one of the major rivers in uh, Western and Northwestern Europe. And this is one of the parts of the Rhine. And the Romans came here because this was their natural border. And when the people of Utrecht came here, they had to live with this river which is uh, rather difficult if you imagine that every year the, liver, the, the water level would rise. In spring, when all the snow melts in the Alps, the water level would rise and people would get wet feet. So this is why you see that the street is actually a couple of meters higher than the canal. Before the 12th century, the canal looks a bit different. So the water was still over there, the streets were over there, and where we are standing today, you could see a sandy slope. So if the water would rise, no buildings were harmed, just sand, and they could still unload all the goods that were used here for trade. In the year 1122, Utrecht got city rights, which meant that they, had to, they were allowed to construct their own city wall, levy their own taxes, and also they created a system of sluices near a village called Wijk bij Buurstede, so that this water level would stay at this level <coughs> all the time. So after 1122, the water stayed at this level and the sandy slope became obsolete. Well, Dutch people are rather practical when it comes to space. So they reutilized this area and they had these basements created. You can see them on both sides. You can see them at the outer front. Oh, some people still. You can see them uh, yes. the outer front. Oh, it's a new front as well. These basements are called warp basements and they were at least in the beginning all attached to the houses on the street side right now some of them aren't anymore because they are independent units you can find shops restaurants cafes office spaces uh, art galleries and even houses in these wharf basements yes people actually do live there it's really moist it's really damp but also very very beautiful so these basements are uh, obviously all private. The area we're standing on right now, right now is public. About 40 years ago it was a part private area, but they made it open to the public. So what did Utrecht look like in medieval times? Well, when the old canal became a canal and not a river, it became a very important trade road. It connected Utrecht to Amsterdam, and therefore it connected Germany and even parts of France to Amsterdam as well. So lots of trade was going on on the canal. Back in those days, people didn't drink water because the water was contaminated. People would also do their business in the water, if you know what I mean. So if you were to drink water from the canal, you would die. And this is why lots of people said that the devil was actually living inside the water. In medieval times, and this goes for many towns in Europe, people actually drank beer. Because if you make beer to boil the water, boiling the hell out of it, I suppose, have clean water again and then add a few percent of alcohol about two percent and it was safe to drink <laughs> so especially the poor drank a lot of beer even children drank about two liters of beer every day if you are rich you could afford wine so Utrecht had about 20 regular breweries just to make beer for the people and the building right behind you this one on the street and the one with, with the bow on the facade the Tasfier brewery bow was one of the famous breweries of Utrecht. Right now it doesn't make beer anymore. Fortunately, due to the hipster movement, we do have three new breweries of Utrecht. But in the medieval times, these were all making beer just for regular kids, adults, whatever you can find. Right now you can actually drink the water of the canal. I still